I've been using IEMs with my PC set up for nine months now, and without a doubt, they are good. But the question is, are they better than headphones? So today we're gonna to be exploring the benefits and some drawbacks to IEMs to see whether or not you should try them. The ones I have here are called the KZ S10 Pros and they have this minimal design that looks pretty unique in comparison to the other ones that I've seen. I've been using these for quite a while now and I haven't switched back since, so let's get into why. So there's one specific reason that I switched to IEMs and that was because of headaches. It wasn't crazy often, but multiple headaches were caused by headphones due to either how they squeeze your head or just by surrounding your ears for a prolonged period of time. Basically, if I just wore them too long, it became a problem. I hate headaches, but I don't remember getting a single one from IEMs for the past nine months that I've had them. However, there is a different problem that occurred for me, which we're gonna talk about later. The next reason you should try IEMs is because of their audio quality. I compared the audio quality to my headphones while listening to music and the difference was little to none. The only difference might be the sense of direction while gaming. You can hear the direction in both, but it just feels different in your ear rather than around your ear. But still, IEMs have great audio quality for the price, which leads me to my next reason. The KZ S10 Pros cost 50 bucks while the HyperX Cloud 2s cost around 120, and the difference in sound quality is unnoticeable to me. Me. There's many affordable options for IEMs even as low as $20, but I haven't tried any of those so these will do just fine. A bonus point is that they look stylish. The design is nice. I love how there's so much free space around my head so there's not as much weight on me. And then the part of the wire that goes around your ears makes sure they don't go anywhere which is a feature of most IEMs. There's a lot of reasons to get into IEMs, but let's get into some cons. I mentioned that there was a problem that I ran into with IEMs and that problem was itchy ears. I've had itchy ears constantly due to IEMs and it's actually starting to get on my nerves so much that I'm thinking of trying to switch back to headphones. If you do get itchy or aggravated ears from wearing earbuds, then just think about how often you would wear IEMs. It's really just a comfortability issue because of the ear tips. I hate how these things kind of sit deep in my ears. I tried using the smaller sized ear tip, but sometimes it wouldn't sit in my ear correctly, so I just deal with the medium sized ones. Therefore, over ear headphones win in the comfortability department because as long as they have nice padding, they're gonna be more comfortable despite weighing more than IMs. Although you can get molded ear tips with an audiologist and then get IMs custom made for you. The next downside is that IMs are wired. The cables are interchangeable so you can get whatever kind you like. I have the stock cable for the ZS10s connected to my Elgato Wave. Bluetooth adapters do exist but then you lose some sound quality due to compression. Before IMs, wireless headphones were my go-to. No wires in the way, but imagine a nice pair of wireless IMs. If you've ever worn AirPods, you'll know that the comfortability is crazy. It's actually the closest thing to feeling like there's nothing there. It's why I wear them at the gym all the time. So if IEMs can ever achieve that level of comfortability, it'd be a huge win. Another deal breaker for some would be that most IEMs do not come with a good mic like headsets do. Obviously with my setup, I'd be using the Elgato for the microphone. So if you do have a dedicated microphone for your setup, then IEMs can go nicely with it. On a side note, do not get the microphone version of the ZS10s because the mic is awful. So to recap, IEMs can be an affordable alternative to headsets while having great audio quality. They solved my biggest issue with headphones, which was headaches, but they could cause a lot of discomfort within your ears. So choose wisely. If you enjoyed my first video on this channel, then feel free to subscribe because I'm going to be doing a follow-up video where I switch back to headphones to see whether or not IEMs are truly worth switching to. So thank you all for making it to the end and peace out.